Wastewater Dam presents Wastewater Map calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As the new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example is to calculate alkalinity required to convert ammonia. Today's problem reads, what is the required influent alkalinity for a nitrification process to have, <coughs> excuse me, to have 56 milligrams per liter of alkalinity left in the effluent when the influent ammonia concentration is 18.7 milligrams per liter and the process is achieving 97% conversion of ammonia. So the first thing we would want to do um, is look at the formula. And to slide down you'll see that the formula I'm using is that alkalinity required, which is what we need to solve for, equals the alkalinity used plus the residual alkalinity. So we just we 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 just take those two numbers, we add them together, and that's going to tell us what the alkalinity required is. So, in thinking about this problem, we we obviously know what the residual is. That's the number that's left over in the effluent, which is 56.1. It's also important to understand, I think, or recognize that all of these numbers are in milligrams per liter. Um, so because they're all in milligrams per liter, uh, we won't have to do any uh, re-expressing of the numbers. So we have milligrams per liter for the effluent, which is 56. And we know that the alkalinity required is going to be used plus residual. So our real challenge here is to figure out how to calculate the um, alkalinity used. And it's going to require looking at the uh, taking the um, influent and uh, recognizing the percentage uh, that's converted and then multiplying that by a factor um, of uh, alkalinity requirement per unit of ammonia removed. So um, the, the the particular uh, components of the formula is going to be in this portion to figure out how to calculate uh, the uh, the uh, number used. So this is how this is how I've done it. I've taken the 18.7 which is the influent. And we said that 97% of that was the uh, conversion. So the 18.7 times the 0.97 is the amount that we actually removed. Um, now the amount, that's the amount of ammonia that we removed. Now we got to multiply that by the factor of alkalinity per unit removed, which in this case uh, we have to multiply it <coughs> by the standard conversion factor uh, of 7.14. So you can take the 18.7 times the uh, 0.97 times the 7.14, and that's going to tell us how much uh, was used. And then we can add the <coughs> residual, and that will tell us how much alkalinity was required. So if we slide on down here and look how we plug that into the formula uh, on an Excel spreadsheet, open up an Excel spreadsheet, um, click on a cell, I use cell A1, up in the formula bar, type in equal, uh, type in two open parentheses, uh, type in 18.7, um, uh, then put in the multiplication sign, then put in the 0.97, uh, and then have a closed parentheses, and then type in the point uh, multiplica multiplication key, type into 7.14, uh, 
uh, close that parentheses and then add uh, have plus sign and then 56. Hit enter and you're going to get the number uh, that I have here in, in A1. Now, uh, if you format A1 uh, uh, for, for one decimal, uh, in this case I also uh, centered it and I made it bold, and then your answer would be uh, 185.5. So I used about five and a half minutes to uh, solve this problem, and for those of you that want a little more explanation, I'm, I'm going to give a little bit of um, uh, additional um, information about uh, this type of a problem. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, um, correlate or compare uh, this type of problem uh, with using chlorine uh, for disinfection. Uh, because we have the same basic information when we, when we uh, use chlorine to disinfect. Uh, we measure chlorine, and what we're measuring um, is a chlorine residual. Um, we have a certain amount of chlorine that's used in the process, and um, and then the uh, the addition of both of those numbers uh, is what's called chlorine required. So the same principle that we use in chlorine disinfection is used in alkalinity requirements. Uh, in, in this particular case, we just simply have to use um, a conversion factor uh, in, 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 in calculating the amount used. Now, obviously, um, if, we, if, if we had to figure out uh, one of the other components of the formula, in other words, if we had to use a, re, a re residual, we, we, can calc we, uh, we add them together, and that equals alkalinity. Uh, but we may have to, uh, uh, we may have alkalinity, and we may have residual, uh, and we, uh, or, or we may have alkalinity and we have required, and, and, and therefore uh, we would have to modify this formula. Uh, but in, in any of the three cases, whether we're calculating residual, calculating used, or calculating alkalinity required, uh, this is the basic formula that we use. So, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, if you think it's um, something that, uh, that you like, uh, please go ahead and uh, f uh, feel free to uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I've got 24 subscriptions, subscribers now at the time that, uh, that I uh, recorded this. Um, also, I encourage you to ask uh, ask me questions. Uh, you can go to environmentalacademy.com and you can, uh, uh, which goes to my website. Uh, you can email me from the email address on there or you can uh, fill out the email contact form uh, or you can uh, contact me through um, one of the other social media sources where, where you uh, identified uh, the, uh, and located this channel. In any event, I hope this is helpful. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, hope to hear from you soon.